this is a very serious one. Recently, the federal government of Nigeria, led by Major General Muhammad Buhari, retired the president of Nigeria, popularly known as Jubril al Sudani, by members of IPOB. Dead or alive, the effect of his decisions are felt, or his indecision are felt by everyone living in Nigeria. Ruga Ruga was a was a noise that was screened not so long ago and people wondered why private businesses would now become national interest. I understand that the government should be interested in everything that happens to its citizens. They claimed that they were trying to create Ruga settlements in places where these Aousa Fulanese are not indigenous to. And they said they are trying to do this in order to calm down the problems between the cattle herdsmen and farmers, landowners, farmers. And people said, if the north, northern part of Nigeria claim that they have bigger land mass, why can't they stay there and find a way to get water to themselves? They can dredge, they can do something and get water down to themselves or even buy. And many of them complain, they say it's not possible for them to provide for their cows that a cow consumes 1,500 naira every day, pastures and water. And they need to get this for free. Who does business all over Nigeria taking advantage of the resources that are there without payment to the government or to the people that own the land? Can you just stand up and go to Niger Delta or South South or go to the North and begin to dig for gold? All because you need gold mm. on your hands. Now, the Arawa community in River State has reportedly dragged the government of River State, led by Governor Yesom Wike, to court over what they described as the constant arrest of their cows. Their trucks, as well as the disruption of their source of livelihood. In the suit filed by the Arawa community against the state government, where they slammed the river state government charges to the tune of a hundred million naira as cost for damages. The suit was filed in the federal court located in Port Harcourt, the state capital, and the court is expected to start sitting sometimes, sometime around June, June 1st, 2020. The lawyer representing the complainant, Arawa community in the state, Paniku Eze, alleged that those arrested were given waivers from the federal government and wondered why they would be arrested just like that even after presenting the waivers they had also speaking the leader of the Arawa community lamented the unprecedented arrest and demanded um, for the release of their people without any condition he also insisted that their members were doing their legitimate businesses and he questioned why they had to be arrested now this is something that i want us to look into and to talk about it seems as if the demands, the audacity, the boldness of um, these cattle herdsmen, private businesses that should not be found everywhere. You find cows in university schools. You find cows everywhere. And to them, this is a normal thing. And they, give, they begin to re repeat this narrative of how Fulani love their cows. We are talking about people that are not even indigenous to Nigeria. That's the story for another day. The Aousas are indigenous to Nigeria. Now, we don't even know the difference. Are they Shua Arabs? Are they Aousa Fuladis? What are these people? What are these people? And they go around screaming and shouting that they have the right to move around Nigeria to do their business, which is not a problem. Everyone has freedom to move, freedom of movement. There is no restriction as long as you are in Nigeria. There is no problem with that. But when it comes to certain restrictions, such as you not go into other people's farm and feed your cows on their, on, on their farm produce. We've seen videos like that. That is something that has to be talked about and acted upon. Countless screams and shouts in the southeast of Nigeria and the southwest of Nigeria. The southwest have decided to come up with Amotekwa. And we've seen videos of them dealing with houses and their cows in several uh, manners and ways. But in the southeast, it seems as if there is a kind of weakness there, as their governors are two-sided 
lip about people today they are speaking this way tomorrow they are speaking this way no most of them are not really acting but i don't know of yes on wiki if um yes on wiki is much more of a better governor than the rest of the governor as he might be able to stand up against this menace of cattle earthmen as you can see they are already complaining and they are dragging him to the court they are dragging the state government to the court um claiming that uh, they they, they, they are cows and they are person, they are, they, they are uh, uh, full and airsmen and all of them are arrested, have been arrested by the governor. That is a governor that does not want to take, uh, you know, just jeopardize the lives of his own people. He knows what these people can do. Before you know it, they come up with weapons, they begin to kill, they begin to steal, they begin to destroy. And he believes that the best way is for him to be proactive. You don't wait. That's just it. You don't wait for them to come and unleash their terror on you. You don't have to wait. In, in, in Anambra State, we saw stories of and videos of or, and accounts of this Aousa Fulani saying that they do not, that they are not going to give up their weapons because they need their weapons to protect their animals and protect themselves. I don't know if they got licenses to, get, to, to take weapons. I don't know if they got them. I don't know who gave them the license to have weapons. I don't know. And why is it that the people in that place, because if you have people that have weapons, you need to have your own to, to protect yourself from them. Because uh, who is going to watch over the person that has a weapon? We've seen videos, we've seen several incidents that have happened even in Benue State where cattle herdsmen attacked people. Now, I know that not all crime are committed by the Aousa Fulani herdsmen. There are some people that hide under the, um, you know, under the shadow of Aousa Fulani to perpetrate crimes, but majority of this, but majority of these crimes are perpetrated by Aousa Fulani men who attack farmers. How can you go into people's land where has been allocated as federal government land, and anybody can go there? It will be a crime for the federal government to believe that they are um, coming up with peace by opening up even federal owned lands and saying that people should uh, uh, these earthmen should go there and eat up the grass and do whatever they like and and drink water from the ocean from the sea or wherever they go to it will be a crime because that particular portion of land or river is also the people in that state are also in charge of it it is to it, it is for them to benefit from it I don't think you can just go to the northern part of Nigeria and just do whatever you like. And they are talking about grass and a lot of things. Is there no Sambisa forest? There was a time they were talking about Sambisa forest. They said if they are asked to go to Sambisa forest, they are not afraid that they can go to Sambisa forest. They should go to Sambisa forest. There is a lot of forest there. There is a lot of grass there. If Boko Haram, Iswap, terrorists can survive there, they should be able to survive more. Just look at it. These are two groups of people that live in the bush. They live under rocks. So they should be able to survive there. They should be able to live their lives there. So I don't know what you guys um, think about all this. Um, you can drop your comment in the section below. They are um, suing the River State government. They are suing them for a hundred million naira for the cost of damage. They claim that their cows have been arrested. They claim that they, are, they themselves have also been arrested. The trucks conveying all of this have been arrested. Even in this particular COVID-19, we are hearing cases of some amateurs hiding inside of the trucks and finding their ways down to the south of Nigeria. This is, this is, not, this is not right. So the lawyer is going to take up this. Definitely, they are going to, if you pay a lawyer, a lawyer is going to speak on behalf of you anyway. It doesn't matter what kind of crime you committed. Um, he's going to speak. Um, on, on your behalf, but I do not see them. I don't know. The Imo State Governor was also asked to pay a certain amount of money, and um, here and there we are hearing stories of he paid. He's asking people in that community to come up with the money. That he's not going to come up with the money, and some very horrible words that we are hearing from that quarter in Imo State. Hope oh, Uzodima is the one, you know, allowing some of this nonsense in that region. But I don't believe that WK is going to come up with the 100 million naira to pay them. They are going to try. Everyone has the right to go to the court. They are going to try, which is okay. Let them go to the court. But the government of River State is standing his own ground, telling them 
enough of foolishness. We do not want any of this in our own um, state. Um, before you know it, they will take over all of that region. How can you do that? If you want to do business, do it legally. Have a ranch. Come to that place. Ask them for a land. Buy if they are going to sell. Lease if they want to lease. That's what I believe. If they say no, no is no. That's just what it is. But if the federal government is going to be um, kind of supporting them, um, I think it's time for every state to begin to practice this same business. If you begin to practice the same business, I'm reaching out to all the south of Nigeria. Now we have people that understand this business. Igbo men, they can get, himself, uh, get themselves involved in this. Biafrans can get themselves involved in this. Nama business, cow business. It's a lot. It brings out, it, there's a lot of money in it. You can do the same business, have your own ranch. And when you have your ranch in the south, it is now, you know what it is? Their business. They have to go to the north and eat their cows since they do not want to obey the rule of law.